Hello, uh, welcome to Mark Sussex Allotment episode 19. Just a brief update of the plot. Um, there's not a lot to see down here really. The, the potatoes haven't broken through yet. Sorry about the, the noise of the train in the background. Um, need to give this a bit of a weed actually and probably a bit of a mow. Um, onto the main plot. Uh, just been digging out some more weeds up here. I've dug out loads and loads of dock the last couple of days. Uh, there's not a lot to see because there's nothing in. We have more asparagus coming through. Some quite nice looking ones. You can just see that there. And there's some thinner ones from the, the, if you can see them just there from the, the new crowns that I planted. <coughs> um, I've weeded the onions finally. So they're all there. We need to pick up a little bit now. But there's all the onions. I've had given it a bit of a hoe. I need to do a bit more. A bit wet this morning, so the weeds are going to come back with a vengeance, no doubt. Um, <coughs> we've got a potato just starting to break through there, uh, and the shallots have taken off nicely. And there's a couple of garlic in there as well. Um, <coughs> just dug that sped over again. And there's the big pile of dock that I was talking about, which I've got loads more to do. Um, I put some bolotti beans in here. And they seem to be okay, they haven't been battered by the winds because it's got a nice bit of deponition over them. Rhubarb again, and this one is just not, not coming to life, so I have no idea what's happening with that. The garlic again is doing nicely. Um, and the strawberry again, putting on some more leaves so they kind of come along nicely. We'll probably get some as early as mid May, I think. Did last year, I think. <coughs> uh, into the tunnel. It's all going crazy in here now. Uh, so we've got the potatoes that I planted on the 2nd of February. They're doing amazingly. Um, some chard, some more bolotti beans. I'm doing some inside, some outside to see how they perform in different conditions. We've got broad beans that are just starting to set. You see one or two on there? Just up there. Um, more potatoes more potatoes. These are the ones I sowed. I think these were sowed only a couple of weeks ago actually. They're doing well. The chilli I've brought from the kitchen which is doing really badly and I'm hoping it will perk up here. Um, <coughs> I've put all my strawberries in here that come off runners and things and some are bought and some flowers that are just starting to come through. There's some rudbeckia and some chives in that one. Strawberries up here still haven't come on much actually, but they're probably just getting used to their new surroundings, so the roots haven't quite settled yet. Um, we have celery there, yeah, which I've got in a little pool of water because it doesn't like to dry out. Um, a couple of cabbages, uh, a couple of kale, um, all my, all my um, tomatoes that I sowed indoors on a video a couple of weeks back, probably early February, I think it was, and a couple of cucumbers in the corner. Uh, we've got some yellow beetroot, some parsnips, a few have come through but a few have died, I think they um, just didn't do very well in the cold frame and they've just rotted off I think. Some okra here, which I'm going to do in the polytunnel, a few more tomatoes, uh, glow bar to choke there, a few more cucumbers, some more beetroot, a load more uh, tomatoes in there, the carrots that I sowed back in January doing quite well. Um, some stuff I planted yesterday which I'll do an update on when it starts to pop through. Uh, a couple more cucumbers and some more clay bar to chokes. A couple more kale or broccoli. Uh, what else have we got? All oh, the peas that I sowed and did the video for um, in the gutter in there. They're, they're all up about two inches now so I need to pop them in soon. It's a bit cold and miserable today. And my salad here. So this is my salad, which I'm going to hopefully have salad all year, all year round. Come and pick and come again, cut and come again. So yeah, that's it for me today. Um, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.